Welcome to a 30 minute stage reading excerpt of Jennifer Joy's uh, Chaos Theory of Now, a uh, one person show um, dealing with uh, chaos theory and its interaction with a person's life. The 30 minute skill will give you a sense of how science is used in the play. And we'd like you to think about um, how the science is used in the artwork and how science and artwork can. Um, can affect the culture. And then, something. The cosmos itself, but completely compressed. All of the potentialities in an impossibly tiny and infinitely heavy ball. And then, Chaos. An infinitesimally small butterfly flapped its tiny wings inside that ball, unfurling a chain of events that resulted in our Big Bang. Now, had we been there, to us, it would have been chaos. But it was not chaos to itself. My best therapist, who I don't see anymore because he's so stupid and he doesn't listen, he told me that I have an anger problem. Is my anger really the problem? <laughs> Democracy has been in a wicked bad car accident. Um, maybe to kick it off, I'll just say how I started working with science and why. Um, because I'm not, like many of you are um, you know, doing education directly, right? In colleges or um, with, with kids and teens, and that's not actually where I'm at. Um, but when I started working with science, there was kind of a mission feeling about it. Um, of course, that wouldn't have kept me there. Being a big science nerd really helps. Um, science is this juicy playground of ideas. Um, but when I started thinking about all the anti-science rhetoric that we see in our culture, we can see how that's contributed to our inability to have a discussion about climate change. And I mean, we're all right now, everyone has three or four examples in your mind um, of anti-science sentiment and how frustrating it is that information can't really get out. And so I started thinking about, well, what can I do as an artist? What tools do I have at my disposal? As a theater artist, I have storytelling, metaphor, humor. That's what we do to bring an audience in, to connect with an audience. So can I show that science is super fun and even use it as a lens to look through to create meaning? Um, and, and so to also show that science is very human. And it, it's a product of our mind, so of course, it's going to reflect who we are. Um, so my, my feeling about this has really been, can the work I do, you know, can we make art about science that does that, that lowers audience resistance, that invites people into that conversation?